Alright, today I'm going to show you how to use animated weapons, and later on, I'm going to show you how you can have multiple weapons. Alright, so to start out, you're going to need your level scene. I've just got a basic plane and a texture. And you're going to need some kind of FPS controller. And that's, you know, your controls and all that. If you don't know how to make one, I'm including a link in the description. It includes a download link, as well as a tutorial showing you how to set it up and it can be pretty useful. Alright, start out. Uh, we're gonna append that axe that we used last time. If you don't have that axe, or if you didn't watch my other tutorial, if you don't have that, then you can use whatever you want. Alright, so just appended it. It's not gonna be where you want it. It's gonna be bigger. So, you're going to want to select the bone when you want to move it. Because if you just select the model itself, you scale it, the bone stays big since the axe is parented to the bone. So what we're going to do, first going to scale it down, going to rotate it. How we need it, we're going to put it right in front of the camera. <clears throat> and move it around how you need it and I'm gonna rotate this a little bit just so it's not so boring alright, if you press play you'll notice it just sits there now so we're gonna select the bone and we're gonna parent it to the camera this way the axe follows the camera when we move the camera around See, but uh, that animation we made isn't playing yet. So how do we make the animation play? We're going to be using these little logic bricks down here. These allow you to add controls, um, use Python scripts, add actuators, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to use. You're going to select your FPS controller where you have all your controls set down here. You don't have to do it, but it's just easier if you put everything where all the controls are. Add a sensor for mouse. Make sure it's set to left click. And we're just going to name it attack. Add a controller called and. And then shift select the bone and add an actuator for action. <coughs> and what you're going to want to do is there's going to be a, um, a little box on here where you're going to select armature action. If you don't have any action set, your default action should just be called amateur ac armature action. So <clears throat> that's what it'll be named. And insert the frames. I believe our axe started on frame 1 and ended on frame 20. So let's connect the dot the ring and now when we play our axe moves but as you can see it kind of it goes through the floor and not only that but we've only got one axe if we wanted something else how do we do that well going to be doing it we're going to be using different scenes. And I'm going to reload this actually. Start over. Yeah, we're going to be using different scenes. So go up, create a new scene. I'm going to name the scene X. And we're going to do what we did before. Actually, no, first, when you make a new scene, you need to set, you need to redo all the uh, the um, display settings as well as you have to make a camera so otherwise we won't be able to see what's on the scene the camera doesn't have the camera can be anywhere just remember where you put your camera that's what you're gonna see when we use this later on so alright now we can append that X 
you're going to notice it's all black. And the reason for that is because there's no lights here. For now, we're just going to set the material to shadeless. This way we don't have to deal with lights or any of that for now. now rotate it and put it where you want it in front of the camera. And again, we're going to parent it to the camera. And we're going to do what we did before with um, the controllers. Except this time we just put on the armature, all the act or sensors and controllers. Name it attack. Add a controller for and. Add an actuator for action, armature action, start frame 1, and frame 20. Now, on this scene, it works just fine. So we've got this scene here, it's all ready. Now we're going to go back to our default scene. We're going to click on our um, FPS controller. We're going to make it so when you press the 1 key, then it'll just, the weapon will come up. Name this Web 1. And set the key to whatever you want it to be. A controller for AND, and add an actuator for scene. Actually we want this scene actuator to be under the camera. I set the scene to add overlay scene. Set that overlay scene to X. Connect all the dots. So we press play, press one, there we go. As you can see, it doesn't go through the floor. Nothing on this scene affects the sex. Even with lights, just how it is. But you could probably program something in Python for that. Now, what if you wanted to have a second weapon? Say, for example, a gun. Well, I've got a gun model we're going to use here. I'm going to make a new, sound, or a new scene. I'm going to call it gun. Add a camera. And append your second weapon model. Again, you're going to have to scale it down. And this time, we're going to animate it so you can look down the sights. I haven't animated this yet, but it's pretty simple. Run to our timeline real fast. Pretty much all you got to do for this is... We only need two frames. The reason we only need two frames is because the way we're going to set up the actuators, it'll toggle between the frames. I'll explain that in a minute. Alright, now that we've got our um, animation, click on your Desert Eagle, or your gun model. Go to Mouse. We're going to set it to Right button. Add an AND controller and add an actuator for... F curves actually this time, since we've only got one animation on the scene. 
start nine frames and rather than just using play this time we're going to be using a F curve type called flipper and what that does is when you hold down the right mouse button it will it will stay on frame 5 but when you release it it'll go back see actually let's make this gun a little bit bigger You know, change it up accordingly. I need it. Good. That's good. And now we're going to go back to the main scene. We're going to do what we did before. We're just going to make another, we're going to make it so when we press the 2 button, it'll select the gun. Alright, we'll name this WEP2. Make it the 2 key. Add a controller for AND. Now we can go back to our camera and add a, another scene overlay and have the gun scene. And now when we press play, see our gun comes up. We've got to set it to set that to shadeless. Alright. Now the gun comes up, but if we press 1, the axe comes up too, and yeah, we don't want them to be up at the same time. So what do we have to do? We're going to add two more scene actuators. This time we're going to have both of them set to remove scene. I'm going to make it so if we press 1 to select the X, then it will get rid of the gun scene. But if we press 2 for the gun, it will get rid of the X scene. So, see? That is how you do multiple weapons, and just using weapons in general. Uh, thank you. Remember, there's a link in the description for that FPS controller. If you got any questions or anything like that, feedback, just send me a PM or leave a comment below. And thanks.